who here woke up feeling excited for school? Up until some point in my life, I love school. It was the only thing I would give my attention to. Prior to high school, I was a diligent student who received excellent grades and also enjoyed a balanced lifestyle. I could never understand why people, people felt, felt negative feelings towards school. Yes, of course, it was tedious and it was exhausting. However, I could never wrap my head around it. That was, but then high school started. And then, this is when suddenly everything went down the hill. I started taking up extracurricular activities. That resulted me in losing sleep, since I still wanted to have excellent grades. And, everything, and in front of my perfect balance, I had only one thing left, a stressed, tired, and overwhelmed person. And I am not the only one like this. Students who, try to, uh, achieve, uh, who seek academic achievement usually end up in situations where they're overwhelmed, stressed, and overall sleep deprived. In a study conducted in 2022, uh, conveniently named, it doesn't matter if you students like or dislike school, there, uh, there is mention that students hate, start hating school from 8th to 9th grade. Uh, although, and it, it is usually since, well, because of homework, assignments, and tests. Of course, not every student's relationship with school is that way. And uh, I want to understand why. Okay. Uh, firstly, I, I want to acknowledge one thing. This will not be a cr critique on the educational system. With all the changes that they're making, it is far from perfect. However, it is hard to appeal to a, a large number of individuals and be good and, and appeal to everyone. In the end, I want to tell you what you personally can do to make this a place for you. To start with, uh, now I will give you a couple of solutions that might help you. As I've already mentioned, the most hated aspects of school are, well, homework, assignments, tests. Why is that? Well, because they are boring, they are exhausting, and they require us time. Uh, they require our time that we would would likely like to spend elsewhere. And in the end, this. Uh, this thing prompts students to make decisions that inevitably, re inevitably lead to procrastination. It, well, let's say you are a student who, who has difficulty writing and is now given a task to write a book analysis. Of course, cheating and plagiarism is always an option. However, being able to express your own, uh, your own feelings, uh, ideas, and opinion in a cohesive and engaging way will always be more beneficial to you in the long run. And that goes for every subject. If you are able, uh, you, not every subject you, will be something that you enjoy or something that you want to do. However, if you are able to put your own spark into it, it will be a lot more interesting. Uh, an example from my life. Uh, I, we, in our class, had to write a research paper what, it could be whatever topic we wanted, as long as it had something to do with our mother's tongue. Mine was about using other language, just slangs in our day-to-day -day life. And I started and finished the 20-page research paper in the last week before the due date. My classmate, who is keen on planes and is planning on becoming a pilot, wrote uh, you know, wrote, uh, chose a topic that is similar to, to his passion. In the end, his, pay, his uh, project was more refined, more interesting, and overall person, more personalized than mine. Of course, he was not looking forward to it, but in the end, he, choosing a topic that he's passionate about made the project a lot more enjoyable. Another thing that you can do to avoid procrastination is, well, uh, look at what you have at hand. You should, I, I like to start with the small tasks that I have, and then later on go to the big project. It seems counterproductive. However, when you, you have a big project at hand, you will, your mind will try to avoid work. And in the end, you might even make no progress and still have more work left. When you start with a smaller task, this works uh, as, a, as a motivational boost for you. And, you might, and then later on, when you go to the big project, you will be you can do have more progress done. And lastly, time management. Everyone says it's easy to learn how to manage time. However, uh, 
how being able to manage time will not only be good for you since you know when to work, but when you can relax. I have my week planned beforehand. It usually has, uh, I, work, you, I use academic work for school on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Sundays. Uh, on Friday and Saturday are my days off. That doesn't mean that I don't work, I just let myself do other stuff. For example, exercise or go, go do voluntary work. And Tuesday and Thursday are the days when I go to art school. In the end, I have no time to prepare for any test or something like that. The second thing uh, that I want to talk about is, of course, if you want to feel good in school, you have to feel good yourself. Everyone knows self-care is important and is trying to achieve that. But how, what, why is it difficult? Well, firstly, if you want to have a, if you want to have a well-balanced life, you should fix your sleep schedules. Sleep is one of the most important parts of the human body, and you cannot function without it. If you, you should, without sleep, you're not only going to, you're not only going to have difficulty, uh, sleep, uh, difficulty uh, in your classes, and probably will be sleeping during them. You will also have a hard time choosing what to eat, exercising, and doing other work that requires energy. Sleep deprivation, uh, in the long run, can have negative effects on your body, like increased risk of heart, kidney disease, stroke, diabetes, obesity, and even depression. So, no matter what subject or what activity you have, it is not worth the exhaustion you will feel later on. I had to have, I used to have a terrible sleeping schedule. I would sleep at best six hours a night, if not less. I would not only sleep during my classes, or you overslept, and I have overslept my alarm clock on multiple occasions. I would also start eating f food that is usually not good for me, since I just needed energy. I stopped exercising due to the same reason, and in the end, was always feeling stressed. And on to the next thing, and I will talk about that. Being able to control stress is quite important. If some of you, I don't know how many of you noticed, but some might see, so I had seen me that before the speech, I was crocheting. Well, quick story time. Back uh, last year, uh, I used to only focus on academic achievement and would not let myself do anything until I had finished all of my work. And yet I would have these short breaks that in the end, turned into long breaks on my phone, scrolling through any social media out there. Although this, uh, and in the end, I would not only fail to prepare for any test I have, to, uh, for any upcoming test, I would also uh, be stressed. Turns out, crocheting, playing the piano, and drawing are my natural stress relievers. And I suggest you find yours too. It could be meditation, it could be crying your heart out, or breathing exercises. However, in the end, it is better to do that than try to re uh, five minutes before a test, than do anything else. And, of course, lastly, last but not least, if you want to seek improvement, always set a goal. A goal is the reason why you're here working, struggling and trying to achieve it. Without it, everything I have said before might feel meaningless. So set a goal for yourself and celebrate achievements made throughout the year. And it will not only work as a motivational boost, but it will also be like a path and show you where you need to go and what you need to do. Let's face it, school isn't that interesting. However, it makes us try and experience things we have never tried before. And if we use the tools given to us, we can make it into an interesting place to be in. So now, I encourage you to make some changes in your life. And maybe next day, feel excited for school. Maybe because it's the last day before vacation. Or maybe because you made it a good day for yourself. You find the courage to, uh, to make those changes. And Start every day with an uh, uh, open mindset that will not be uh, affected by the negativity in your surroundings. Thank you for listening. <laughs>